are you? Me, I'm Yaku. This is my workshop. I'm a goldsmith and you have clicked the link that enables you to view this channel. Welcome. Today we are doing a gaming pendant and I'm going to show you exactly what I've done and how we made it. Step one, design, 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 design. I did a design and I took some tracing paper and I said, this is basically what we wanted to do. Then I thought maybe bring some stones into that. The design was plain and straightforward, but with plain stuff, usually you've got to be really, really careful because if you've got a lot of texture, if you've got a lot of movement, it's very easy to hide a little mistake. Simplicity is difficult to do. You've got to go really slow with it and that's exactly what we've done. Repair the metal as per usual, flatten it out. I wanted to have a sort of coin-like look to it, which meant that I was going to frame it with 18 karat going around, but I wanted to have a little wall going around it as well. So I prepared a piece of 18 karat, rolled it out and made an 18 karat ring. a stencil and I traced out a circle on the platinum and I pierced that out. So we've got a coin like thing at the moment that we're looking at. I'm not soldering anything yet. I'm just getting the parts together. So I've got the circle that goes around the disc, I've got the disc itself, I'm taking the two apart and I'm looking only at the disc, the platinum disc that I've created. I've got a middle mark on this, I've printed out a piece of paper where I've created a little stencil that gives me perfect and opposite... Indications? Indications, there we go. Indications where the holes need to be. Now you have to be careful with this because if you're working with something simplistic like this, you have to make sure that stones are exactly opposite from each other and the distance between them are exactly the same. So I take a bit of time with it. So as I'm preparing this, I'm also taking the holes and, and I'm enlarging them to the size where I need them to be with an appropriate ball phrase, but I'm not setting them. I'm not going all the way down. I'm just marking them so that when I'm looking at, I'm checking halfway through to see, am I still on par? Am I still, is the symmetry still where it's supposed to be? And it's all good. As I'm going along towards the point of setting the stones, I'm actually preparing the surface of the platinum continuously, polishing, working it off the sandpaper, inspecting it. I'm looking for a mirror finish because we're going to put a trophy on top of this, which has got a bit of a matte finish and I really want the trophy to pop. I've done the one part, which is the ring. I've done the, pl uh, the, the platinum flat part. I've marked the holes. I've got a center hole in that and I'm moving it aside. Now I'm going to focus on the trophy. 18 karat yellow gold, plain straightforward shape. Same thing applies. Make sure the lines are absolutely, absolutely true to the design. If they're not, you're going to spot it. So we're taking time with the cut work here as well. I'm setting the stones in a crater or a flush style.
I want to now place this trophy on top of what I've already created, the platinum part. So I'm creating lines from the top down to the bottom. And these are guides for me to make sure that when I place this trophy that I've now cut out, that I'm not too low or not too high. I need it to be obviously in the center. Once I've got this guide and I'm comfortable with where it needs to be, I glue it on top of the platinum part of the pendant. And I'm doing this because if you're turning it around, I already have a hole at the back that I've created in the middle. I can take a small drill and just go through that hole and mark where the trophy lies on the actual pendant. And then from there onwards, doing two additional holes that go through the pendant, through the platinum pendant, right into the back of the trophy. I'm marking the trophy so that if I take them apart, I can put pins on the back of the trophy, bring them together with the actual platinum part of it and rather than soldering it because soldering will create some sort of a cleanup that I have to do around the actual trophy I'm going to pivot these rivet pivot rivet rivet, rivet. these are the, the 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 problems one has if you're speaking in a second language we're going to rivet it why are we going to rivet because it's going to give us a neater finish remember I'm trying to get a mirror-like finish on this pendant So let's break it down. I've got a circle of 18 carat that goes around a platinum disc. I've got three holes in the platinum disc. I've got the trophy, which now has three pins in it because the trophy is going to be squashed through there. And I'm going to rivet the back of it to make sure that we've got the best finish on the front. That's where we are right now. The platinum disc on the other side, where the pins are going to come through, has been countersunk. So I've taken a small ball phrase and just made a little bit of a bigger hole at the back. And the reason for this is because once we're going to rivet those the, the gold it's going to fatten out it's going to spread into those holes so that when i flush it out at the back it's got something to hold the pendant in the front solder the ring onto this whole thing around it but that's going to create some heat which might create some issues with my finish that I've got on the other side so I'm using boracic powder this stuff boracic power danger covers the front of it um, and it creates this little green flame and what that does is it protects the, sh the shine of the finish it's one of our goldsmith workshop secrets boracic powder ba -da -ba. Ta -da 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 -da. Once the ring has been soldered onto the pendant, we're almost there. Remember I said that I wanted that little frame that comes around the platinum part to be a little bit proud. So now I'm making the, the bail to actually sit over that. And the reason for that is I want to be a little bit more designer about it. I wanted to hug the front part and only solder it at the back.
Pendant's finished, I want to give it to the customer, but I can't because it's not hallmarked. We have to hallmark things in the UK. It's the law. I'll tell the hallmarking company, yes, please, can I have a hallmark? I'd like to have the hallmark in 18 karat as well as platinum. And they go, who are you? I'm like, I'm, this is me, and this is my name. And they go, okay, cool, we'll print your name. We'll print the year, which is what they do. We'll say that it's 18 karat. We'll also say that it's platinum because we tested it. The pendant comes back. So it's time to release the pendant, send it out. Your time with us is done. We had another YouTuber that viewed our videos and commissioned a cool pendant, which was so much fun to make. Thanks, Ricky. That was good meeting you, buddy. Link to Ricky's channel in the description. Give the guy some love. There's another video on its way. Thank you very much for watching this video. Good to see you all again. I'm looking at you. Bye.